Hey guys, it's Tidy Tom Logan back with another installation on the uh, server that I've been putting together. Uh, I've finished the assembly now. Um, there may be a couple of changes later on. Uh, I know I've got a network card coming that I'm going to be using in it. Um, and maybe a few changes might be going to 140mm fans in the roof, simple stuff like that. But for the most part of it, this is the server done, so all I'm doing is it's just a chance for me to show those of you that are interested because there has been a really, really good response with the uh, watchers and the subscribers on YouTube. This is just for me to give you a look around it and uh, an up and close and then we'll do all the benches and the, the reviews of the, the parts like the raid card and the, the back planes that I'm using later on. Now, uh, I'm using the Sigma Tech Up Guard mainly because it's small. Um, uh, at the moment, this is all I need size wise because I can get everything in there and it is re relatively tight on space. Um, but, you know, I mean, later on I can upgrade if I want to, but I didn't put a uh, shame, I didn't put a full review video up on YouTube. But if you want to see uh, what I thought of this case when I did review it, go to uh, Overclock 3D. And you'll be able to see the full review there. Pretty much the only change that I made to it um, on the side is that uh, it did have, I'll just grab it, mesh on the side. Now, although that's great for airflow, it's also wicked for dust. Um, and that'll be another thing I'll work on later on, actually, is dust proofing this thing. But I uh, basically just ripped it out and put some plexi in. I do need to touch up a few of the bits where I pulled the tabs off underneath, but as far as that, as far as the case is concerned, that's it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pop the side off, and then I'm going to take the tripod off, give you a look round, turn it on, because the drives, obviously where we've got 12 drives in this thing, when they spin out they are quite noisy, so I'll let you listen to all that as well. Right, here we go, peeps. Side's off. The only other minor change that I made is I moved the Sigma Tech badge onto the roof. But thanks very much, Tony at Sigma Tech. There's a look to the inside. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera in nice and close. Now, this isn't for you to look at anything, but listen. I'm not sure how loud that's going to have been on the on camera, but there's the back planes. Pretty much every one of those little lights is one of the hard drives. As you can see, there's a good few. This is the activity light. It does flash when the drives are being used. I've not got the operating system on this, so anyway, I'll go more in depth with the back planes and the raid and everything in another video. Oh, they are starting to flash. Not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but anyway, we're going on to the inside. I'm going to try and stay out of the way. Then we've got the uh, Noctua fan there that I also reviewed on uh, OC3D. Absolutely blinding for an i3. There's my raid card. 1.2 GHz dual core. Raid on chip. 512 megabyte RAM, 12 ports. We come this side, try and get out the shadows. There we go, you can see basically on the back panes. I don't want to go in too much in depth, but we use the top ones because I'm only using SATA. If you use two, that's four SAS. Anyway, you can see the uh, back planes there, filling up all the bays. The solid state is literally just resting in the bottom at the moment so I can feel artistic and I'll put it somewhere else. But I come back. Hopefully it'll focus in. There 
there's my little server. I'll go through the specs once again for you. We've got our Asus P7857 DV Evo. Oh, I've got to say this. I know this is going to be really sad, but wait for it to do it. Come on. There we go. Night Rider Light. <laughs> Sorry. Right, then we've got the Noctua heatsink. If you've got an i3, then this thing, absolutely unbelievable. Even if you've got an i7, as long as you, like a 930 or something, as long as you don't overclock it, this thing's so quiet. It's un unbelievable. Even with the fan turned right down. All the noise at the moment is these 80mm fans in here, which I might be swapping out for Noctua's, but they actually move a good amount of air, and obviously the hard drives are quite restrictive. But anyway... We've got 4 gigabyte of 1600MHz G-Skill Eco and then the RAID card is an Adaptec 51245 it's actually a 16 port, it's 12 internal and then that one there um, is uh, 4 external but you can use SAS expanders on this and uh, go nuts and have freaking loads of uh, drives Anyway only types of power supply I would ever put in my own rig are Corsairs and I really don't mind saying that out loud uh, my own personal choice um, but pretty much if you see a blue Corsair then it's one that I've specifically chosen every single computer in this room has a Corsair in it I've got a HX850 on the test bench and a HX1000 watt in uh, my main rig uh, which I might actually be swapping out for a HX850 as well uh, We've got Icy Box IB554 Ford um, slot back planes. I've got three of those. As you can see, it goes right to the top, fills the case up completely. Uh, in the, those, we have uh, 12 uh, Samsung Spinpoint 1 terabyte F3s. Uh, they're in a RAID 6 at the moment. But I did do some RAID 0 testing. Uh, Sigma Tech Upguard. Sig uh, not Sigma Tech, what am I on about? Not to have fans throughout. I3530. But yeah. Let me uh, stick you back on a tripod. Right, so there's the complete system. This is going to be as near as damn it. We're going to be chucking a RAID cut, um, um, network card in there. Maybe a few other little bits. I've got a dust, put a dust filter in the bottom. I'm just trying to find a 140 dust filter. Or I might just screw a bit of plexi underneath because I don't want any dust in the bottom. I'm probably going to put some dust filters in the front, but just minor stuff. This is going to be the rig that we're going to be uh, working on for the base of the reviews. Uh, and I'll do some guides about setting up file sharing, setting up user accounts with specific access to file sharing over networks. Now, the, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is a crazy spec rig. We don't, do you know what I mean? It, it is massive overkill for what most other people are going to use. Um, but I'll go through, I'm going to do another video on uh, like selecting your parts, what you really need for even a basic system, why, you only, why I'm only using an i30, i3 for example, um, what you can get by on, what you need, what you don't need. And then uh, hopefully we'll build up a series of videos for those of you out there that think to yourself, do you know what I mean, I don't necessarily want. I mean, the reason why I've got this, in all honesty, is my new rig that I've got coming. I don't want fucking loads of drives, and I do pardon my French, but I don't want loads of drives and it cluttering it up, making it look messy, making it look horrible. Everything, that I'll, all of my data will be on this, and I'll have one or two solid state drives hidden off somewhere. Job done. Less clutter in a rig makes it look nicer. Now obviously that's not, you know, the type of thing that everyone's going to want, but it's the way that I want my system to be. And also, once this is set up, I'll leave it on all the time, and my laptop can get in and access all the data. I can sign in remotely over the net to access my data. My phone can get access to this. My uh, HTPC can. My missus will have her own account for her music. What are we doing for time? Uh, yeah, my missus 
and um, have access to this for all our music and all that kind of stuff. So it really will be the the central part of my network. Anyway, that's enough for you lot for now. I'm going to bugger you fuck off ski and uh, yeah, please remember if you've just found this video, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, this is Tiny Tom Logan out and I will be back with another video for you very soon.